guys, it's time for another three looks, one palette, and this one is one that you guys voted for. So today we're gonna be using the ColourPop Just My Luck palette, and I'm not going to do a first impression with this because I just don't feel like doing four looks with this palette, you know? So we're also going to be skipping swatches and all of this stuff that I do in my first impression videos because I'm sure there are already so many videos out there doing swatches and just people being more in depth than I plan on being in this video. I just wanna have fun with this palette. I just wanna play with it. I wanna see how it performs. And I'll of course let you know along the way as we go and I think we should just get into it. So today is when I'm filming this is St. Patrick's Day so obviously it's only fitting that I do something green. So let's just start by priming the ice with the MAC Paint Pot. So my plans for today is basically film and then I'll probably go for a walk because it's super nice out. I might hit up Starbucks, might get a coffee, might get a treat, who knows, and then I'm gonna go home and I'm not going to do anything the rest of the day and I can't wait because I'm not really one, or my husband and I aren't really the people who celebrate random holidays, like we'll obviously celebrate Christmas and birthdays and stuff, but anything else, even Valentine's Day, we don't really celebrate and we don't really go out on days like this, so yeah, I'm pretty happy just staying in and doing something chill, and when you see this, I hope you had a good St. Patrick's Day and that you had a lot of fun, whatever fun means to you. If that means staying in, that's great. If that means going out partying, I hope you were careful and you had a blast and you didn't do anything too stupid. And if you did do something really stupid, let me know. I would love to hear about it. <laughs> so I don't really feel like doing anything super fancy today. I did already film two St. Patrick's Day looks, so if you haven't already seen those, I will link those up there, even though when you see this, it's going to be past St. Patrick's Day, so you probably won't care, but I just want to kind of keep it simple today. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to dip into this shadow right here, which is called Chances Are, and I'm going to put that in the inner part of my crease, and then I'll probably go in with one other shadow on the outer part of my eye and then just put a couple of shimmers on my lid and call it a day because that's just what I feel like doing today. So let's see if I can get this to show up nicely. Which I've had a pretty good experience with ColourPop shadows so far. Now I don't have a lot of palettes from them. I do have the little Ooh La La palette that I really ended up liking. So I mean that is beautiful. That is such a pretty green shade. So I have pretty high expectations for this palette. Uh, I have seen a few videos of people using this but I haven't really seen anyone like do a super in-depth review or anything, but everyone I've seen who's done a first impression has really liked this, so I'm happy I got this because this is such a pretty palette. And this is also the kind of palette that I could see bringing with me traveling or something. Because usually when I travel, I will bring like two or three or maybe even four palettes depending on the size and obviously how long I'm going to be gone for. But I have no problem bringing multiple palettes and that's usually what I do and I prefer to bring several small palettes instead of one big palette, but that's just kind of how I do it. I know people do it the op opposite way, but I really like to have some variety when I do travel and I decide to bring palettes. So I mean, this shadow is so beautiful. It's such a nice minty green. And it kind of goes with my earrings too, which I actually got on Poshmark last week. They're from Betsy Johnson. I just think they're so cute how they're like not even, you know, like one is opposite way, like upside down. I think that's really cool. So now that I have the shadow down, let's see, what do I want to do next? I think I'm going to go in with Act Natural, which is this shadow down here. And I'm going to place that in the outer part of my eye. Also blending it in towards that mint cheek that I put down. And I'm also going to bring both of these shadows down to my lower lash line, kind of doing the same thing that I did on top. I do want to deepen this up a little bit more on the outer corner, so I'm gonna take Mobamba. Is that the name of that? Mobamba. Does anybody know what that means? Does that have anything to do with St. Patrick's Day? I feel like it probably does. So I'm gonna take that just in the outer corners and just try to deepen this up a bit. So far this palette has been so easy to work with, that makes me so happy because the more I try Colourpop, the more I really like the brand and I haven't really tried anything from them that I've been like, I don't know if I like this, so you know that's awesome for being such an inexpensive brand that they still come up with such good quality products. So for my lid, I think I'm going to start off by taking Big Banks, which is this green shimmer right here. 
And I think I'm just going to put that all over where I don't have any shadow. I might go in with the gold in the very inner corner, but for the rest of my lid, I think I'm going to put this. I might go in with a darker one, like right in the middle here, though. I feel like that's probably going to be a better idea. Just to get the blend a little bit better on the outer third of my eye. But we're not doing a cut crease or anything crazy today. I just want to keep this very simple. So just for the outer part here, I'm going to go in with 50-50, which is this darker green. And I feel like all of these are going to be like, I'm going to go in with this green shade because they're all green. So I'm just going to put that right in between the dark matte green and the shimmery green to get a bit of a better blend here. And obviously they're all going to blend together because like I said, they're all green. So these are going to be some very green looks. And this palette reminds me so much of the Huda Beauty, what is that one called? Emerald Obsessions, I think. And I have that one as well, and I've seen some comparison swatches, and they're not really the same, but I mean, they're definitely very similar. So if you've been looking for the Huda one, this one is definitely going to be a good option for you, because this one also has that beautiful minty shade, which is probably one of my favorites in the Huda palette. So this is going to be the lid. Now, I feel like I pulled up the shimmer a bit too high on this side, so I'm going to go in with a bit more of that mint shade just to run that over here. And I do feel like there was a kind of lighter green shade than the one I put on my lid, so it could go in my inner corner, but since I don't really have that, I'm just going to use Mary Jane, which is the gold shade, because I just want to try it. I feel like this is going to look really pretty, even though this is definitely what everyone else is going to be doing too, but I don't care today. So we're just going to pop that right into my inner corner. That is so beautiful. This is actually way more green than I expected. I kind of thought this was just going to be gold, but since I haven't swatched any of these, I don't really know what they're going to look like on the eye, which is kind of exciting. But I like this a lot. That is gorgeous. This is such a unique shade. I wonder if it's because I kind of put it on top of green so that it has a green shift to it. But I kind of want to swatch this. Oh, that is so pretty. I don't know if we can really pick up the reflection on camera, but definitely has a bit of like a lime green tint to it. Oh, this is so stunning. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my eyes. I think this is just going to be it for shadows. I do want to put something in my waterline though, so I think I'm going to use this LA Girl Neon Pencil. This is in the shade Fresh. And I feel like this is going to go really nice with the look. It might not be like a super green like St. Patrick's Day look, but since I've already done two of those, I kind of want to do something a bit different. So even though it's not like super St. Patrick's-y, I don't really care. And just to finish up, I'm also going to do some wing liner and I'm going to put on some mascara. And on my laurel lashes, I'm going to put on the one from uh, Colourpop. And this is in the shade Kiss and Teal. So I will do all that and then I will be right back and we can put on some kind of a lipstick. But I think I'm just feeling a very nude lipstick today, but we'll see when I get back. Alright, for lipstick, I think I know I said I wanted to do something very nude. So I'm going to try to use I Am Nude by Jeffree Star. This is from the nude bundle that I split with a friend of mine. And I feel like this might be almost too nude for me, but I want to try it, so let's just see how it goes. That's kind of scary, but let's see what happens. I might be able to get away with this with a gloss on top. Wow, that is so nude. I kind of like it in the viewfinder, but looking up close... I don't know, it's something I would have to get used to, so I'm going to wait for this to dry a little bit, and then I'm going to put on a gloss by... Anastasia and this is in the shade Luna so it's got a bit of a yellow shift. I feel like this could look really nice on top. So I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this lip. I kind of like it. It might grow on me. I'm not sure. I might change it throughout the day but for now we're going to keep it like this because I feel like a very nude lip is going to go really nice with this look. So that is going to sum up look number one. Let me know if you would use a different lipstick with this. I mean I kind of like it. Do I pull this off? I feel like I kind of pull this off. Not quite sure though, I would love your opinion. So this is going to be look number one, let's move into look number two. All right, let's get into this second look now. Um, I've been staring at this palette for a while. I've been filming for six minutes and still I'm not started talking. So I still don't really know what I want to do with this look. I don't know, there's just so many things that I want to do with this palette and I feel like it's so versatile even though the color story is pretty limiting, but just like the difference of depth and the colors in this palette just inspire me a lot. So. I don't know what I want to do. I feel like I should just start going in with a green in my crease because <laughs> what else can I really do? So let's just do that. I'm going to start by taking Kiss My... 
Haas. Kiss my Haas. It's from the avocado, right? It's gotta be Haas. And I'm just going to put this into my crease and then I think I'm going to go in with another shade after to deepen this up with. So I'm just gonna pull this all the way from the inside to the outside of my crease. Oh, I love this shadow. This is beautiful. So today that I'm filming this is the 20th. So this is the day that the MAC Paint Pot is on sale at Ulta. And I've already had some of you DM me and be like, hey, look what I bought. So let me know if you ended up buying the MAC Paint Pot. And I would love to hear you guys' opinion about it because it's been my holy grail primer now for so long. And I really hope that if you guys did end up buying it, that you're going to end up loving it as much as I do. And I don't know why, but I keep looking at this palette and I keep looking at this all of you shit and I really just want to use it. So I'm kind of wondering if I should just pull that like all over my lid and do a bit of a smoky eye instead of deepening this up with anything. I think that could look kind of cool. I think I want to try that and then I might even go in with the brown on the lower lash line. But I'm now going to take this shadow right here and put that on my MAC 242 brush and then I'm going to spray it. And I'm just going to pop this all over my lid, and I think this is going to be a fairly simple look. I had so many different things I wanted to do with this. I kind of wanted to do like a crazy big wing like I've been doing with my cut crease technique. And like, I don't know, there were so many things that I wanted to do, but the more I keep staring at this shade, I just wanted to use it. And I'm also just blending this into the transition shade. The shadow is so beautiful. It's like a green gold. It kind of looks like an antique of some sort. I don't know. I really like this. I feel like so many of the shadows in this palette are so unique. So like I said, for my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Charmed. And then for my inner corner, I think I want to use this green shade, which is called Big Banks. But let's go in with the brown first. And I'm just going to pull that all the way from outer to inner part of my lower lash line. And this one even looks to have a bit of a green tint to it as well. So it's more like a poopy brown, which I love me, a good poopy brown. And I'm also going to be smoking this out quite a bit, so I'm not too worried about putting down too much of this. I'm next going to just take a fluffy brush and really start to buff this out. some of this and just bringing it up into my outer corner just to make sure that the transition is looking nice and I want this to be a very like grungy look so I don't really care if it's looking a little bit messy right I really like how this brown doesn't really look that brown it definitely has a bit of a green undertone to it and I think this is beautiful so like I said I'm gonna go in with big banks in my inner corner so the screen shade right here and I'm not going to spray this because I don't want this to be like super intense. I just want to get the color down. I want this to just be like a very simple look. And I am also kind of bringing this up and connecting it with the lid shade. And the shadow too is absolutely stunning. I can see myself taking this palette traveling with me. Um, with another palette of course, I wouldn't just bring one palette because I always bring like three. But this could be such a good like companion palette to something else. And I really love how messy this is looking. And I think I'm just going to call this good. I'm going to put on some, do I want to just do black? I kind of think I just want to keep this to like a grungy look. So I'm just going to put on some black in my waterline, black lip liner and some black mascara and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the eye look all complete. I really like how this turned out. I like how grungy and dark it is and I'm so here for it. So. For lips, I'm actually going to use a bullet lipstick. Are you proud of me? I'm really getting into these now. And I'm going to use my Sephora collection number three. And this is just a kind of my lips look better. It's very similar to my own lip shade. So I'm gonna use this along with a lip liner from Revlon. And this is in the shade Rose. So I can't decide if this lipstick is a little bit too pink for this look, but it's okay because I'm going to film a lip swatching video after this, so I'm going to take it off anyway, so I'm not going to really bother to change this out right now. So this is going to be the second look with the Just My Luck palette, so I guess we have one more to go. So let's do that when I'm back in three, 
two, one. All right, let's get into look number three. Now, I just want to say one thing before I start. I know my under eyes are looking absolutely crazy. It's because I got this thing in BoxyCharm. Again, I said I canceled BoxyCharm, but it turns out that I don't think you can cancel if you prepay it for, you know, the certain amount of time that you prepaid for. So I prepaid for a year and I guess I'm getting BoxyCharm for a while longer. But so I use this brightener shade right here under my eyes because it says brightening. So I figured that's where you're supposed to use that. But Clearly it's like a highlighter and it looks like I have glitter all under my eyes and then I try to go over it with powder and that didn't really work so if it's looking a bit crazy, I blame this thing. So we're going to get into today's look now and I think what I want to do today is I don't really know how this is going to turn out but I kind of want to make like a negative space or not even like a negative space but I want to leave like some room open on my lid for my skin tone to kind of peek through. And then I want to do like a dark outer V or outer corner with like a popping inner corner highlight or something. I'm not really sure like how this is going to turn out or how the process is going to be. I don't really know exactly what it is that I want to do, but I think we should just get started. So I don't, I guess I will start with the crease or the outer corner, I should say. So maybe I will do... Okay, let's go in with Act Naturals. I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm going to use my Morphe E36 brush for probably most of this look. So I'm first just going to place this in the outer V. The shadow is beautiful. I really like all of the shadows in this palette. I think they're so stunning. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that this shadow is above the hood of my eye, obviously, because I need to be able to see it. And I'm also going to pull it down to my lower lash line. And then also making sure that the angle out here is the way that I want it to be. And I don't even feel like I can really call this a tutorial because I don't know where I'm going with this. Which I suppose that's like half of the time so when I do makeup. But sometimes I like to just like try new things and just see what happens. So I'm going to pull this about halfway across I think. So now is when I'm going to start pulling this in a little bit. But I don't want to pull it in too much. Just enough that I can see the shadow kind of above the hood of my eye here. So a little bit like this, and then I'm going to work on just blending out the edges everywhere. And I guess I'm also going to pull it onto my lid because it's transferring a bit, which is kind of annoying and why I can't really do looks like this, but we're going to try it anyway. So this might end up just being a regular look at the end of this, who knows. some concealer too and kind of cut the middle of my eye. I haven't yet decided. But I think that's looking pretty good. So I got a bit of concealer on the back of my hand here and I'm going to use my fluffy brush again. And again I don't really know what I want out of this but I just know I want there to be a lot of just open space on my lid so I'm going to just kind of go over a bit where I got down too much shadow and I want to make sure that the inside here is all the way free of shadow. But I don't want there to be any sharp lines out here at all. So I guess a little bit like this just to kind of clean up the lid. I'm then going to go in with Chances Are and I'm going to put that just on the edges where I have the concealer and where that meets with the other green. And just kind of diffuse these. And I'm just going to go back and forth between these two colors and make sure that it's looking even on both sides. So I think I quite like how this is looking. It's not completely even, I don't think, I'm not sure. But just to set the rest of my eyelid, I'm now going to go in with this Wet n Wild single. This is called Creme Brulee. And I'm just using this to set where the rest of the concealer is. And also just to help diffuse the colors together. And I want this to be kind of a softer look, which is why I didn't do like a very defined cut crease. I'm going in with a bit more of that lighter green on this eye, just to make sure that they are looking as even as I'm able to get them. I 
really just have to go back and forth and kind of finesse this and make sure that it's looking the way that you want it to and I think I got it to where I like it now and I think the only thing I want to do next is I want to put something in my inner corner and I'm thinking I just want to go with Mary Jane because I just I like the shadow so much. I do wish that there was a very very light blue in this palette or maybe like a light turquoise or something like that with a little bit of green in it. Sort of similar to the shade right here but in a shimmer I think that would have been beautiful. But I think I'm going to use the gold in this look and I'm just going to pop that right into my inner corner. And I don't want to blow this out too much. I want it to be pretty precise. So a little bit like this and then do I want to do anything else? I don't think I do. I think I just want to leave it like this. So I guess I'll put on some liner. So should I just do a white with this maybe? Or maybe I'll do a turquoise. I feel like that could look kind of cool. So I'm going to use my LA Girl liner. You guys know I love this. So I'm going to pop this in my waterline and then I'm going to put on some liner and mascara and I guess I will be right back. Alright, so mascara and liner is on and for my lower lash line I'm going to use this mascara by Colourpop again. This is called Kiss and Teal and it's just a teal eyeliner. Or mascara I mean. It's really not teal though, it's just like a light blue. So I'm going to put that on my lower lashes. Not in my eye. And then for lips, I actually got an Ofra lipstick in my BoxyCharm, so I kind of want to use this. This is a metallic lipstick, which I'm sure a lot of people are not going to like. And this is called... Nothing, apparently. So it's this long-lasting liquid lipstick, and it says Monaco here, so maybe Monaco is the name of this, because it doesn't say anything on the bottom, which is kind of weird. But we're going to put this on, because I feel like it might match my sweater today. I think I like that. I think that's kind of cool. I think I like this. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are going to be very upset about having gotten this lipstick, but I like it because I like metallic lipsticks and I'm not that picky. So yeah, I think that was some of the third look with this Just My Luck palette. Let me know what you think. Did you get this palette? What do you think of it? Um, I guess if I were to do like a very short review, I just want to say that I love it and I didn't have any issues with it. I thought all the shadows performed really well and I love the color story. I love the packaging, even though I kind of wish it wasn't plastic, but I still think it's really cute. It's got a great mirror in it, as you can see here. And I don't know, I don't really have anything bad to say about this palette, except that I think it's awesome, I think it's affordable, I think it's great quality, and yeah. So let me know down below which one was your favorite. I think I'm ready to take a break from green now because there's been a lot of green looks on my channel lately, so maybe we should move into like blues and stuff like that, you know, with the Jeffree Star palette coming up and stuff. I'm so excited about that. Oh my god, I cannot wait. So there'll be a lot of blue on my channel coming up and I'm excited about that. I hope you are excited too because you don't really have a choice. <laughs> I think that will sum up today's video. Let me know what you think. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye!